from the station working for you. This is a WRTV update. I'm WRTV's Alyssa Donovan, and these are your latest headlines. An update on the cyber attack that hit Johnson Memorial Hospital. Officials say the FBI is now assisting with the investigation, and IT experts are working to determine the scope of the attack. We do know the hospital system's computer network was disabled, but officials say they're prepared to continue to deliver care without access to computer records. As of now, no appointments or surgeries have been canceled. Leaders with the hospital say pa patients scheduled to receive services should still plan to come to their appointments. They do recommend arriving earlier than usual as registration processes may be slower. Well, the state is once again closing some BMV branches because of their ongoing shortage of staff. Starting on Monday, October 4th, eight branches will close. That includes the North Meridian and Midtown branches in Indianapolis, along with branches in Danville, Brazil, Tipton and Lafayette. Those closures will last through the end of the month. The BMV says it has received an increase in job applications over the past month and is in the process of filling those vacant positions. You needed the umbrella over the weekend. You'll want to take it along again on Monday, although I think the coverage will be a little bit lower for us. We start off mainly dry, but we'll have those clouds around. Temperatures will stay fairly consistent here in the mid to upper 60s the first half of the day. Then with that afternoon heating, we'll see a few more showers, maybe an isolated rumble of thunder out there. Temperatures that make their way in the lower to middle 70s and rain chances are going to be sticking around here. Looks like Tuesday, probably our driest day of the week, but about a 30 to 40% chance of rain here Wednesday through Friday next weekend looking pretty nice. We've got drying conditions and highs around 80. Stay on top of the very latest news anytime by downloading the WRTV mobile app. We're also available 24 seven across all popular streaming devices, including Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV and Android TV.